Good morning and welcome to Mosaic. We're excited to bring you the 36th annual Jewish Film Festival. This is the first Jewish Film Festival in the entire world and 36 in Jewish tradition is an auspicious number because it represents the equivalent of double life, double chai in Hebrew. And joining us in this conversation is Lexi Laban, who is the Jewish Film Institute's Executive Director, and Jay Rosenblatt, who is its Program Director. Welcome, Jay and Lexi. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. So the Jewish Film Festival runs from July 21st to August 7th. It begins in San Francisco and goes Bay Area wide. So what is its opening night this year? Oh, we have a terrific opening night film. It's called The Tenth Man, and it's really interesting. Uh, we have 10 big nights this year in the festival out of 68 films from 15 different countries, and we had a lot of comedic, entertaining films for our big night films. So I think the stars were shining down on us and saying that we were going to celebrate our 36th festival with lots of fun and levity. Wonderful. So, Jay, let's set up a clip for the opening night film. Yeah. Uh, so our opening night film is called The Tenth Man. It's an Argentinian film directed by Daniel Berman, who's had several films at our festival in the past. He will be joining us in person at the Castro Theater on July 21st. And um, this is a romantic comedy about a man who returns home to um, help out his father, whose name is Usher, with the Jewish charity that he runs in the El Once area of Buenos Aires. It's a Jewish district. The Tenth Man. A mí lo que más me gustaba en la vida era comer galletitas con dulce de leche. Pero sin que se rompan, ¿no? Y las juntaba una con otra y después como que me gustaba separarlas y mirar la cantidad que quedó de dulce de leche y en la que más quedaba me la comía primero. One, two, three, four. Ya está en el aeropuerto. No, estoy yendo para allá. Me voy a pasar a saludar a Mónica y voy para el aeropuerto. ¿Para qué la querés saludar? ¿No venís con ella? Ya Al no. final vos sos un pot. Venís a presentarme a la piba sin la piba. Traete una foto. Uy, te corto que voy a perder el avión. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. ¿Y ahora tu viejo? Sí, la vaina de la Usher. Usher, Usher, capo. Es el rey de los... Beautiful. I know the film festival has an arc of the opening night, closing night, and in between a Freedom of Expression Award. So what, what's the closing film? What's the Freedom of Expression well, Award? Well, yeah, um, we're really excited about our closing night film. It's called For the Love of Spock, and it's about Leonard Nimoy, made by his son Adam Nimoy. Uh, it's kind of a tribute to his father, and it's also a father and son story. It's filled with great archival clips of Leonard Nimoy's entire career, lots of juicy tidbits about his Jewish upbringing and how the uh, famous sign came about. And um, Adam Nimoy will be joining us uh, closing night at the Castro. So opening night is at the Castro July 21st. Closing night is at the Castro August 7th. No, no. July 31st at the Castro. July 31st at the Castro, yeah. great. Yeah. But the film festival runs July 21st through August 7th throughout yes. the entire That's Bay right. Area. And, and then goes after the Castro to Marin, Oakland, and Palo Alto, and Berkeley. Beautiful. Yeah. And the Freedom of Expression Award this oh, year. Oh, wow. It is my favorite night. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Um, we are honoring Norman Lear this year with the Freedom of Expression Award. Um, we saw a fantastic opening night film at Sundance by Rachel Grady and Heidi Ewing called Norman Lear, Just Another Version of You. And Norman Lear will be joining us to receive the award. We'll be showing the film. And then he'll sit down for an on-stage interview um, following the film with Peter Stein, former executive director of SFJFF. That's beautiful. So we see here, this is a part of the clip of the film that we'll be seeing. Yeah, this is a fantastic film. I mean, it's chock full of clips from All in the Family, The Jeffersons, Good Times. And Norman Lear really made groundbreaking television. He really focused on the cutting edge issues of his times. And there's a lot uh, revealed about the history of those experiences. 
Wonderful. You've talked before that the, the general theme this year, a sub-theme, has been comedy. Did that evolve spontaneously? Did that evolve um, deliberately? How, how did that happen? Yeah, I mean, maybe it's somewhat the times that we're living in right now. There's a lot going on in the world, and, you know, we're facing some really troubling issues. So it's been great this year to see so many independent filmmakers really bringing comedy to the forefront. And comedy, but with, with a message, with meaning. Beautiful. Lexi and Jay, we're going to take a quick break and return in just a moment here on Mosaic. Mm -hmm.